Okay, here's a quick tutorial on how to speed up your XP, uh, Vista, or Windows 7 uh, machine. One of the things that happens when you install applications or programs on your on your PC is they will automatically um, install an executable or uh, an application in your startup. So a way to turn those off and speed up your computer boot as well as your computer uh, as it's running is to go to start and run on an XP machine or on Vista or Windows 7 you can just type run and it'll show you the uh, the run application. Another option is to press the Windows key bottom left and while you're holding that down press R and that'll bring up the run window. From there you just type msconfig and click OK. That'll bring up this configuration dialog. Um, if you go over to the startup tab, the fourth tab there, you'll see that you have a startup item you know, the name of the company that made it, and the command, which the command includes the executable. We'll use that a little bit later. So when you're in, um, when you're in this startup tab, you don't want to turn off anything that you don't know what it is or you don't know its purpose, for example. So if I'm looking at these first couple items here, they're Intel Corporation, that's the manufacturer of my, the processor on my computer. Um, I, mean, I could look up what those were, but I'm probably just going to leave those on, right? But if you scroll down to the bottom of your list, you'll find uh, the applications that you've installed. And anyone that's checked starts up whenever you start your computer. So what I'm going to do here is go ahead and turn some of these off that I, I know I want to turn off. I don't, for example, I don't need Adobe to update my Acrobat reader for me. I can do that manually. I don't need a process running every time I start my computer to check if an update's needed. iTunes, QuickTime, same thing. I'm not... Um, don't have to have the latest and greatest and I'd rather have free processor, right? So same thing for mobile me, uh, for Apple and for the Google updaters, just things I'd, I don't want. Now you might want them, so leave, the, leave whatever ones you want on. Now, uh, for example, if you don't know what, a, uh, what an executable is, you might want to leave that on until you figure out what it is. One way to figure that out is, for example, here's the DBRM tray icon by Microsoft. Well, what is that, right? You can scroll over here and you can see it's called the DBRM tray icon.exe. Well, you might say, oh, I don't need that, right? Well, let's take a minute and, uh, and Google the uh, DBRM tray icon and then read about it on one of these pages. It turns out it's one of the most important parts of the Windows operating system. So before you turn something off, if you don't know what it is, Google it, find out what it is, and then decide whether or not you want to turn it on or off, okay? So there, there are some applications that I have installed that I, I want to have running, like Dropbox. I want that just to be open all the time um, so I can copy files in there and not have to start it manually. Um, typically, as I mentioned before, the top of your list is going to be computer stuff. The bottom of your list is going to be applications. Just click Apply, okay? Uh, Windows XP will give you a dialog there that says you can restart or wait till the next time and um, for that to apply. Obviously, if they start on startup, you're going to have to restart in order for those to not start up.